air brake leak test using the Class A checkoff list modernization test. As you see, the asterisk beside the A, that means if you do any of this, there's four parts to the test. If you do any part wrong, it is a fail. Step number one, we're going to start the engine. And step number one is called the air gauge and governor cutoff check. Examiner about 120 PSI's. I should hear a hiss and I should I'm wait until the governor cuts off. I'm going to build up pressure both gauges to 120 PSI's or to 140. to hiss. I have 122 PSI's. Governor has cut off. It is working properly. Now I'm going to step number two, the air leakage test. I'm going to shut the engine down, turn the key to the on position, supply power to my gauges. I'm going to push in the parking brake and the trailer brake, release them, and I'm going to allow air pressure to stabilize. Air pressure has stabilized. Now I'm going to firmly apply my foot to the service brake. And once again, I'll allow air pressure to stabilize. Air pressure has now stabilized. Examiner, would you please time me one minute so you can ask examiner to time He says yes. And we're going to assume that one minute is up and I'll give him the results. Examiner, this combination vehicle did not lose more than four PSIs in one minute. Now, <laughs> test number three, my low air warning devices. Every tractor is a little bit different. We're going to fan down to about, examiner, I'm going to fan down to about 55 PSIs. My low air warning devices should activate. It could be a buzzard, it could be a flag, it could be a light, or something on the computer showing that you have low air in the system. I'm going to fan down, and it should come on before 55 PSIs. Now, I'm going to fan down rapidly. And they came on. This tractor is all computerized. Air pressure is low. I got my two lights on and the flag. All my indicators are working properly. Most tractors have will have a, a buzzard warning. So you hear a beeping sound. So you listen to that. Most tractors and CDL schools will have a buzzard. Step number four is a tractor protection valve operation. Also, in the first one, I'll let them know that they, the low air warning uh, on my computer and the signals, the red lights, all came on at uh, 56 PSI. So, you let him give him the results. Okay, tractor protection valve operation or emergency brake check is the last part of your air brake leak test. These valves should pop out about 20 to 45 PSI's, 20 to 45 PSI's. So we're gonna, and we can probably hear it. I'll get in the camera in a good position. I'm gonna fan down. It should not pop out below 20 PSI, no less than 20, but between 20 and 45. Okay, we're gonna rapidly fan down. Both valves have popped out at 22 PSI's, showing that the system is working properly. And that's your air brake leak test.